If you're attracted to druidry but still want to call yourself a witch and combine the homey elements of Wicca to your practice, Druidcraft might be a perfect combination of druidry and Wicca. Hey there, saplings! Welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today's book review is Druidcraft by Philip Cargom. Philip Cargom is, of course, the chosen chief of the Order of Bards, Ovates, and Druids. I'm a member of this order, and I'm kind of a fan of Philip Cargom's writing. That's me noting my bias. <laughs> For many people, the attraction of Druidry is really strong, but they still feel welcomed and empowered by the path of Wicca, which is often, let's be honest, the first path that pagans might be exposed to. Well, Druidcraft is the idea that you can combine both of these paths into what's called Druidcraft. I experimented a little bit with calling this my path, but really, I think I follow druidry. I just have a lot of magic and witchcraft that I can use when the time is called for. Druidcraft is a book that could practically be one of those pagan portals. It's nice, super sweet and short, but still gives you the information that you need. The book is formatted as if you are a student of the forest school of druidry. And at this school, you listen to a story or myth from a bard and then you go out and meet your teacher. And she is a very powerful, mystical witch druid. This teacher has a conversation with another student called Brandon, and they ask questions back and forth. And this is how you as another student kind of has a chance to learn all about druidcraft. If you've read the book Ishmael, that kind of dialogue between the reader and Ishmael is very much what's happening in this book. So it's almost a lecture, but more conversation. I'll be upfront with you. I detest that style. While I agree with many of the points that Ishmael as a book is making, it was such a painful read for me. If I want to listen to a teacher, I will go listen to a teacher. If I'm going to read a book, I want to read a book. Mixing those styles does not work for me. Luckily, this is just one part of the book and the myths and the practices that happen after this conversation more than make up for my frustration with the author using this very annoying style in my opinion. The other thing that makes up for this style of conversation teaching is that there are enough elements happening around the conversation that makes it feel more narrative than being lectured at. So if you're like me and really hate that conversation thing, I don't know how to describe it any other way, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you didn't like that, I think you will still find a lot of really useful information in this book. Just be prepared that maybe you only read a chapter a night instead of reading the whole thing in a day. What I thought was particularly interesting, besides just talking about the history of where Druidry came from and the history of where Wicca came from and how those two naturally had a lot of similarities and you know, founders were really connected strongly, it was the take on magic in particular. You know, Wicca, we think of magic and witchcraft. Druidry, we don't always think about that. In the back, one of the last chapters, this chapter talks about the different ways that magic can happen in our lives. Magic is split up as three different parts, making magic, changing magic, and questing magic. I won't get into the details of it, but this is such a beautiful way of talking about magic and its use and how it interacts what, what, with what we're doing in the rest of our practices and lives. I think that alone, if you're looking to learn more about magic and druidry, that alone is an excellent reason to check this book out from the library or purchase a copy. If you have read other books by Philip Cargom, I think you won't be disappointed with this book. If you're looking to combine Wicca and Druidry, then 
this is a must read. And for anyone who's looking to really find that foundational information for using magic in their druid practice, I also think it's an excellent read. Today's sapling shout out goes out to Angela Berber. She was the very first comment on my Owen video, and I mean, it was like two minutes after posting it. So thanks for being in the comments. If you'd like to be the next sapling shout out, tell me in the comments if you've ever heard of Druidcraft before and if you combine Wicca and Druidry in your own practices. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.